Hi, I'm Eileen Wyatt, and I'm lucky enough to be here today with Fran Gebeth from the Harwich Historical Society. And Fran, what a gorgeous day we have out here in front of the Brooks Academy Museum in the garden across the street. And I understand um, that with fall comes the hometown treasure sale. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yes. Well, we've been doing this for about five years. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we do is we uh, sh shut the traffic off on Parallel Street. Uh -huh. And uh, the uh, vendors come in and set up their uh, displays uh, along that parallel street. So it's like a street fair. Oh, fun. Yeah. And that's going to happen on Saturday, September 22nd? That's right, from 10 to 2. Mm -hmm. And if it should rain, but it won't, you know. No, it's of not, course not, it won't. not going to rain, but if it should, <laughs> if something slips up, it'll be on the 29th. <laughs> You'll have a beautiful day because you have a rain date. If you don't have a rain date, forget it. <laughs> And the rain date is September 29th, correct? That's right. And that's mm -hmm. the following Saturday, and it will also be from 10 to 2. Yep. And uh, so far we have about uh, 12, 15 vendors, and they, they, they're offering all kinds of merchandise, crafts, attic treasures, books, uh, items made out of <laughs> shells, crocheted. Uh, the Sisters of the Good Shepherd will be here with their crafts. Um, as uh, Raggedy Ann dolls and uh, oh. hand knits and of course antiques and collectibles and then uh, there will be some yard sale things I'm sure there's always yard sale people and then uh, the Guild of Harwich Artists will be painting pumpkins and having kids can come and paint faces on their pumpkins what fun! Yeah. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. I know I've been to it before, and it's just a, a, a lovely uh, small town yeah. fair, street fair, as you said. Right. And of course, the uh, museum will have a table for their gift shop things. Oh. Though there's always some good sale items on that. Oh, excellent. Yeah. And I understand that renting the space is a fundraiser for the Howitt That's Historical right. Society? Yeah. The vendors uh, pay $25 for a 10 foot space, 10 mm -hmm. by 10. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh, anything you know th there's no further charges for the vendors so they're uh, you know it's just like a yard sale for yourself that's wonderful yeah. for 25 dollars you can bring whatever you would like to sell mm -hmm. and um please bring your own table <laughs> yes i was just going to say i noticed that uh, you need to bring your own display equipment and tables and tents etc whatever you yeah, right. would need tents, anything you like mm -hmm. yep all right well thank you very much yeah. fran and Best of luck. You have 15 and hoping for at least 15 more, I'm sure. Oh, yes, indeed. We'll have plenty, I'm sure. All right. Thank you. Nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, too. Thank you. So remember, if you'd like to be a vendor, please call the Harwich Historical Society at 508-432-8089. And if you would like to come and look at the display of wares to buy, the uh, date is September 22nd from 10 in the morning to 2 p.m., on Parallel Street here in front of Brooks Academy Museum, and the rain date is Saturday, September 29th. So if you'd like to be a vendor, give a call, and if you'd like to just come on down, mark the ca your calendar with those dates. And I'm here today with Pat Smith from the Harwich Historical Society, and we're out here in the lovely garden across the street from the Brooks Academy Museum. And Pat, I understand that you're having um, an exciting day coming up on Saturday, September 22nd. We are. After the hometown treasures, mm -hmm. uh, people can go over to the tent in back of the Brooks Academy Museum. From 2 to 4, we're going to have an appraisal day with Ted Harmon. Mm. Uh, he's from Decoys Unlimited. He's a um, decoy collector, uh, a dealer of many years, and an auctioneer of decoy items. He will appraise your decoys, um, any decoy or bird-related materials. Um, he'll give you an idea of what they're worth for $5 uh, for verbal appraisal and $25 for written appraisal. We're hoping people will bring in all sorts of decoy-related items, um, either sales slips. Ideally, somebody will bring in a crowl bird, but they don't have to be crowls. And I'll remind people that not all crowl birds are signed. So they may have one that they think might be a crawl, and this would be the way to find out. Uh, you don't need an appointment. Uh, as it said, it's two to four. Um, and it'll be kind of interesting. It'll be fun to see exactly what people bring in 
and I hope we'll have a lot of people saying wow like they do on Antiques Roadshow. Yes, and, that would be and fun. find <laughs> out things that maybe they've had in a drawer and never really paid a lot of attention to uh, are really worth a significant amount of money. Well, that sounds exciting. And is this um, a rain date event or is this a rain or shine? The 29th, come? as with the hometown treasures, would okay. be the rain date. Terrific. All right. So Saturday, September 22nd from 2 to 4 uh, p.m. after the hometown treasure sale. Please come on down if you have a bird carving or a decoy or any related materials. And Ted Harmon from Decoys Unlimited will appraise that for you. $5 for the verbal, $25 for the written. And if you want more information, please call 508-432-8089. And again, the rain date is Saturday, September 29th, and it will be from 2 to 4 after the hometown treasures on the rain date. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pat.